Hello everyone, Watch This Review here with a look at Rex the Dr. Lewis from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra line. Of course, he's also someone else. In fact, this figure is just flat out spoiler-tastic. Now, um, from all the stuff in this line, I was really looking forward to picking up this one because he's got a really cool generic evil look like you'd see in a lot of movies and games and stuff. But, um... Even the least astute of viewers will notice something right off the bat about this figure. Notice something missing? Notice it yet? Give you a hint, left eye. For whatever reason, this figure doesn't have this little monocle or whatever. Which is just as well, because I imagine it'd look hokey if they did. I have to think that they actually did have one version of it out with a monocle, then I don't know. Sometimes I think stuff that never really happened. I'm crazy like that, but I picked this up for five bucks at Marshall's. Um, some time ago, these were marked down like five at Walmart places. So, you know, still kind of available. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to get this guy a package and we're going to have a closer look. I'm going to save this card because I really like the portrait of this character. Now there are two portrayals of him that came out in this toy line. The other version, I don't know if it's spoilers or not, but if you haven't seen the movie, just like mute it now for a few seconds, but this guy in fact is Cobra Commander and he had the other figure had like this one translucent like um, mask thing for it. It looked kind of like a plastic bag, but... I think it was actually on this scale. I know they made a bigger version of it, but it, this that one didn't look as cool as this one. This one's really awesome between the trench coat and the metal claw and everything. And of course, this kick-ass mask that obscures part of the face. I guess he has a wig. That's actually pretty cool. The fact it did fall isn't very cool, though. One second. It actually took close to 15 minutes to find that stupid hairpiece, so for most of the review I'll probably be leaving it off, but that's kind of a downer, the fact that it does remove, because it just doesn't fit on that easily, or at least stay there, but you'll notice he does have a peg hole in his back for jumping poses or whatever, but I can't imagine that this guy would be doing much jumping. Now in terms of accessories, it comes with the little pistol or... I think that might have been the nano bot thingy inserter. His hand, this really cool gun. That's sweet. A briefcase containing those. Um... Watch with this open, so I'm gonna go flying. You know what? I'll show you later, but it's just those vials of those things that eat steel. I forget what the heck they were called. And then this really cool clamp thing. In addition to a stand. And also a, another claw, but I'd probably only display him with one claw at a time, just because that's more villain-like. Now the um, bottom portion of the mask thing here just seems to just be sculpted on. It's not detachable. So, I mean, I don't know. Now look-wise, I like this figure with the hair on. Without the hair, not so much. You will notice that he's got like all these little leather straps or something around his arms. Like little belts or something. And the hands can both hold weapons. Which I imagine Lot can. I mean, I'm not entirely impressed with the uh, trench coat here. Doesn't have a lot of detail, it's overly glossy, but in terms of articulation and underneath the trench coat, first he has this weird like jumper outfit. Reminds me a little bit of Voldo from uh, the Soul Calibur series. Articulation wise, we have a rotating wrist, ball and socket here at the elbow, ball joint shoulder, head rotates very slightly. Feels like this comes off. I'm pretty sure it's actually sculpted on. We have a torso joint. As well as, I think, no, no waist joint. 
legs kick out and to the side, but the jacket seriously impedes that. Double joint here at knee. The knee ball and socket here at the ankle, so good range of articulation. No major complaints about this figure other than the whole wig thing. And of course the coat. I mean, it's definitely a solid looking piece that I'll probably cross display with other series. And again, probably with just one claw on at a time because both claws looks kind of hokey. But um, just giving me the trench coat here, I can't imagine that he's going to be able to really hold the gun all that well with both hands. But I mean, it's sort of a common flaw of the uh, G.I. Joe line for many of them. At least many of the ones I've tried using. But yeah, um, until next time, folks. A uh, quick update. I finally got that case open. It holds three of those vials. So, I mean, nice little touch. Also, in terms of height here, for comparison, I'm going to bring in the classic armor, Marvel Universe Iron Man. So, you know, same basic height for the purposes of cross-displaying, which is true of most of the G.I. Joes, apparently. But, yeah, until next time, this has been a look at Rex, um... Lewis, a.k.a. the Doctor.